everyone. This is Rakai Lennon, Editor-in-Chief of The Bell Ringer. Welcome to another episode of Chiming In, a production of Bell Ringer Phoenix Media. Today is April 5th, 2024. This morning, I am joined by Hannah Brown Kitchens. Hannah is a senior communication major at Augusta University, graduating in just a few weeks. Mm -hmm. And she's here to talk about her recently published children's book called When I Grow Up. So thank you, Hannah, for joining me. Thank you for having me. How are you today? I'm doing really good. Awesome. Really good. Blessed to be here. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, a little bit about myself is I am a, like you said, um, senior at Augusta University, getting ready to graduate in May, and I cannot wait. Mm -hmm. um, I have a published children's book, which is why we are here, um, and a founder and owner of a e-commerce business on online. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. And so how's your journey been as a student at AU so far? Oh, it's, it's been a long one because, you know, when COVID came, I took a two year break um, and I decided to come back and finish my journey of, you know, pursuing my bachelor's degree in communication. Um, and since then, it's been, you know, a brush of fre uh, fresh air. And, you know, I've, I've really found what I really wanted to do while, you know, returning back to school. Um, I have my internship at Channel 6 got hired with Channel 12, you know, while being back here. So it's a it's a lot of good exposure and a lot of things that I've, um, you know, become open to since being back here. And why did you choose to be a communication major? Um, well, just the, the diversity in it all is, you know, it's a lot you can learn from not only just verbal communication, but, you know, physical as well, um, even nonverbal communication. I mean, it's, it's just a lot you can learn from communication in itself. And a lot of people don't understand the different avenues and pathways that communication holds. And it's needed literally mm -hmm. everywhere in any career path you go to. So that's my reason for wanting to pursue it, because it's, it's a huge necessity in today's society, because it can be flipped the wrong way in just a matter of seconds. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Proper communication is definitely important, as mm -hmm. you mentioned, in any career field you mm -hmm. all need a great communications person of course <laughs> at the end of the day so what inspired you to write a children's book oh man this thing started a long time ago I graduated in high school um 2015 and this little knickknack book is the whole beginning of it all um this book is called dream big and it, it started you know I was at my mom's job one day um I didn't go to school that day I can't remember why but um, me being a creative person that I am, she handed me a bunch of little knickknacks and she said, you know, you know, I know you're sitting here bored, just create something with it and, you know, have fun with it. So I created this little knickknack book called Dream Big and it's about a little boy named Ronnie who pretty much wanted to like own his little own zoo. Oh, nice. Um, and then, you know, the years went on, went on and I decided, you know, well, I held on to this. So why not make it like a legit thing, you know, for little kids to read and, you know, it's a. It's called Dream Big. You know, we all have, you know, our dreams of what we want to be when we grow up. Hence right. the book, When I Grow Up. Mm -hmm. So I turned this little idea into, you know, a reality for kids to read. Awesome. And it's great to kind of see that one idea kind of spark into something mm -hmm. so much bigger. Mm -hmm. So why do, you, why do you think literacy is important? It can go between different age groups. Um, mm -hmm. And with mine, I wanted mine specifically to target Age kids around the ages of three to ten years old, maybe nine years old, but at the end of the day, I really don't want to put an age gap or age cap on a book such as this one because, I mean, I'm 27 years old and I'm still, you know, growing up. You know, I mm -hmm. still, you know, I, I still want to say, you know, when I grow up, I want to be this because I haven't reached my goals yet. Um, so just being able to have something in front of you such as this that you know packs so much inspiration and knowledge inside of it is what's really key to me when it comes to like literacy because it's like right there in front of you you just need to take the steps to really put yourself in that position to want to know more about what it is you want to learn in life mm -hmm. and what was the process like for getting the book published um it was a tedious one only because you know nobody really told me the exact process of how to get it done um, my book is published on amazon uh, right now um, and it is called, they call it KDP, so Kindle Publishing, Kindle Direct Publishing Process. Um, so it's a self-publishing process. Um, you pretty much upload your manuscript. Um, you upload your photo cover. You make sure you figure out what kind of book size you want, whether you want it to be ebook, paper, uh, back, or hard copy. Um, and, you know, you just submit it, and they give you about 24 hours to 48 hours, I think, to get you um, your you know, your, your, your publishing back to see if, you know, it's within their guidelines of publishing. 
And then once it is, and you, you know, you set your price for it and you put it out there to the world. But um, it comes with you know, copyright, protected copyright for it. But me being me, I wanted to go the extra mile to get my own, you know, extra <laughs> copyright. Um, just because I want to do a series of this book uh, when I grow up. Um, <clears throat> you have to have your ISBN thing back here so that, you know, people can scan your book and, you know, wherever it's being sold from, like extended um, expanded distribution. Mm -hmm. So that's, it's, it's a long, it's a, it's a process. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. um, I run into a lot of people here lately that, you know, they, they see my book and they say, okay, I've, you know, I've started something. I, I want to do the process myself and me knowing how to do the process. Now I offer that help for anybody who wants to go the same process. I went, whether it be ebook, whether it's paper, but uh, paperback or whether it's hard copy. So I offer, you know, help or classes, as you would say, to help people with this process because if you don't have the guidance for it, it can be a very frustrating one and you can get unmotivated to not want to pursue it anymore. And I don't want nobody to get caught between that, you know, rock and a hard place when they can, mm -hmm. you know, you can be guided to do the next thing, which is publishing it. Mm -hmm. And I guess, did you have any books that kind of inspired you growing up? Um, I had many, but the, the one that sits on my shelf right now is I have a TED talk and that one is based around communication of, you know, how to, how to speak to people and how to talk to people. Um, you know, posture and eye contact and body movement, that, that whole thing. Um, and another book I have is called Chase the Lion. So those two things are, is, are, are two books I really hold dear to me because, you know, it, it teaches you about the path of life and, you know, a professional way. And the other one is more of a disciplined, motivated, you know, motivated way. Okay. And I guess what do you hope to bring to the minds of young readers who read this book? Uh, creativity. Just to be a kid and dream and to imagine, which is why I have, um, I'm creating book merch for it. I mean, um, uh, yeah, book merch for it. This one is called Dream on Little Dreamer. And I'm getting ready to put this one on my website also for little kids to, oh, nice. to you know, wear and, I mean, it's. I just want them to just be a kid because in today's society, everybody's wanting to grow up so fast. And it's it's OK to do that as long as you know, you know, where your mind is at and where you want to go in life. But at the same time, I mean, we're talking about three to 10 year olds. So, you know, be, you know, imagine things like, you know, <laughs> daydream for a little bit about what you want to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In a world, especially where there's so much emphasis on technology and all of that. Exactly. Uh, to get your, you know, hands and in a book is really, mm -hmm. really important. And how has the community response been? Or have you, how have you been able oh, to share man. your book? It's been amazing. Um, I have QR codes set in the Wilson Family YMCA right now. They're a huge support. Um, um, Christ Community Health Services, uh, Pediatrics, uh, just about the entire office staff uh, purchased the book. I have it on my Facebook page of um, a couple people who purchased books and, um, you know, did a selfie or a picture and and um, allowed me to post it onto my page. So I've been getting a lot of a lot of feedback and great responses from it. Um, I've read the book um, at Uchi Creek Elementary School, and the kids' reaction is just a lot of oohs and ahs, and you know, hands flying up, saying, you know, I want to, I want to tell you what I want to be when I grow up. So it's awesome. it's been very positive. Um, I published I published the book um, last month, and I think on the fourth. Mm -hmm. And since then, I've, I've all, I'm almost reached 100 book sales oh, so nice. far within a month. So right now I'm sitting at maybe like 80 sales. I mean, the month has already passed, but in my opinion, that's a good <laughs> that's a mm -hmm. good start to have almost 100 books. So, but um, my journey is not over. What I'm still wanting to go to like other community places to continue to either donate books to have it in other people's offices. Um, so this book has a long way to go and it's just now starting. So I'm, I'm eager to see where it goes. Awesome. And have you ever um, reached out to like the Dr. Paula P. Harris Literacy Center? I haven't. Oh, okay. Yeah. You might want to look into them because they're um, kind of, I guess they're connected with, I guess, university and okay. then they have several like volunteers who help teach kids so that might be something okay you can look into. nice i've spoken to them and they're really they're really great that's good to know and from a fellow graduate to another mm. congratulations thank you <laughs> so how are you getting ready for the big day um well, i'm just trying to finish the internship strong um mm -hmm. just trying to finish out the capstone um my one last elective class i have just just the three trying to finish from strong Go ahead and turn in everything I have. I need to do a, a, a good bit of my stuff is already done. I'm just waiting for <laughs> the last day of the semester to come so I can go ahead and get ready to put on the cap and gown and just, you know, walk down the stage. That's that's literally it. 
Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Hannah, for coming on the show today. And I look forward to walking across the stage with you. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> and thank you for listening. Once again, Chiming In is a production of Bell Ringer Phoenix Media. It is produced at the TVC Lab on the Somerville campus of Augusta University. Jasmine Garcia is the producer and lab coordinator. Alex Gonzalo is the video producer. Comments mentioned here are those of the hosts and panelists, not Augusta University. Be sure to find us at www w.aubellringer.com to hear from more guests. This is Rakai Lennon, hoping you'll chime in too. Join us next time and have a great day. <laughs>